Hey, I'm Captain Massey, guys. We are finally back again for another reaction on this year, the one and only Miss Delix reaction. All right, there and then, guys. Welcome, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another reaction. Let us get right into it, right there, brothers and sisters. I actually saw this and I thought I'd share it with you guys. And of course, echoing the sentiment right there that Dominica can actually become the wealthiest and most prosperous island in the world. Well, in the Caribbean, they stated and possibly the world by extension. Of course, they stated this right there. So definitely, they agree with me. When I said the world by extension, Dominica has so much potential, so much opportunity, untapped potential and untouched opportunities that which it can then elevate the people. But for some reason, and I'm remembering, I'm remembering Skeleton's speech when he stated that the Dominican Labour Party is aligned with the one world order for which you see that a number of persons instead of being independent because of themselves they are now dependent because of the persons that they put on top to do things for them who is now apparently enslaving them with the mindset that hey we will do things for you what your mother and your father cannot do for you we can do for you which means that you then have to be loyal you have to be our subjects they're using your money you know you're paying in taxes to make you obey them <laughs> so when you talk against what craziness they're doing in society you cannot say much because you will end up losing out it's interesting somebody taking my money to control me i give the person my money to handle my money to do things for me but instead they control it me instead ah dominica is full of untapped potential brothers and sisters i think my my, my thing why are you looking like that now oh the sun the sun i looking like any heaven not true anyways guys so this of course is something rather interesting right there but of course we prefer we prefer to stay the poorest uh, apparently dominica is considered the poorest if not one of the poorest nations in the caribbean that is very unfortunate considering tw um, 20 30 years ago dominica was on the top i remember somebody meet me in the park and said right over there i said i remember as a little youth they used to go and make baby in the fire station where the fire station is in Portsmouth. Baby used to come out there. They had a health clinic there. They had all kind of things there. People used to come and get the people from overseas. I met a guy in Le Saints. He flew into Dominica to have an operation back in the day. He said he never passed back. <laughs> what he coming back for? What he coming back for? That's what he told me. Anyways, a number of persons were telling me, yes, there was, there was operations and they used to have surgeries in Portsmouth. No, today, for you to get a proper surgery, you have to be flown out of Dominica, even though we have a brand new hospital building. <laughs> and we have the high food and the he and all kind of food that food in. Brothers and sisters, we are the fool. We are the fool. It's interesting. Whole thing. But well, let me move on this side, guys. I find my my thing. Yeah. Yeah, I too. I too. Yes, ma. All right. We better. Okay, guys. We're a little better. All right. All you see me proper. All right. All right. Anyways, brothers and sisters, so Dominica is indeed one of the poorest, if not the poorest. And of course, what are we doing? We seem to be handing over our wealth to the Chinese, which of course brings me to this photo right there. This is, of course, Justin Su, one of Skerritt's new friends. Who is this guy? Well, we will find out in a while. But before we find out about this guy, let us find out about Skerritt's previous friends. Remember when he went down to Malaysia? Of course, Angelo Allen asked this pretty much important question right there. Let me make it bigger for you guys to see so you guys wouldn't see. I lie, I lie in. All right, then. So apparently, Angelo Allen asked, what has Dominica benefited from this gold-plated trip to Malaysia for all these government officials in Dominica? So apparently, Dominica paid for Dominican officials to go to Malaysia to do things for them. But apparently, we don't know what on earth Dominica has benefited from. But we know that he's this guy. Right there, one of Skerritt's best friends. He's in jail now. He obtained a Dominican diplomatic passport. He was an ambassador who did no type of ambassadorial duty for Dominica. But he obtained Dominica diplomatic passport. Come him. <laughs> All right. If you haven't seen the Al Jazeera, well, Skerritt was the one who gave it to him. <laughs> okay. Um, through a middle person and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. I think that's the guy right there. Anyways, I'm not sure. But of course, this is one of Skerritt's friends. He's in jail now. For fraud and money laundering and whatever it is right there. Scared has a new friend now. All right, Dominica joined Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, what do you call that? Tron cryptocurrency for this guy. You know, you might, might be wondering how Scared know this guy. I don't know how Scared know this guy, but he know him coming. But anyways, this guy, Justin's son, that you seen right there, him, he was actually congratulating Scared 
right there. Scarit and the Dominican Labour Party for winning the general election. That is as a result of the last elections, for which had a record-breaking low voter turnout as a result of the main opposition party of Dominica pulling out as a result of the lack of electoral reform. What is happening? For, what is happening? Uh, April coming soon. What is going on, brothers and sisters? Hopefully, we can get it. Okay. Oh, hopefully. We can definitely get it. But of course, he's congratulating Scary. Say yes, congratulations, man. Congratulations. All right, then. And of course, this is what he's saying right there. Dominica is the first country in the world to designate blockchain as the national infrastructure. And it is Tron. So he's the one in charge of the Tron currency, so to speak. I changed my name ticker into Dominica flag. His name ticker into Dominica flag. Okay. I may suggest to move this person exchange uh, to Dominica as a national exchange. Ah, yes, I. Come away from Dominica to develop and issue Dominica coin, DMC, a blockchain-based fan uh, based fan token right there. So he's apparently the one in charge of this whole thing. And of course, Kerry say, what, what? We can come in and make it happen. Like I said before, guys, on the basis of a previous reaction I actually did on this, I also stated that you can actually do a lot of illegal activities as a result of you know these things those of you know about cryptocurrency and you know so forth and so forth you can hide certain things and pass things through where dominica money go we don't know <laughs> blockchain um crypto pick it up and you know not saying that crypto crypto is a good thing you know brothers and sisters if it is done correctly but if it is done by people who are wicked that can be that can turn into a very dangerous thing for the people who use it very very dangerous thing this is one of the reasons why I believe that they're trying to kill the banks so that things can go so bad that they then will force in this thing on people and be able to control what you eat and what you do and so forth. This is why people need to, people, people just sit down there. We just allowing things to happen to them, eh? especially in Dominica. I suspect these people are the, at the, at the, at the top of the world or whatever, the new economic forum, these people there, they are learning from what the government is doing to Dominica. I think that's, that's what they exactly that they're doing. Because apparently Dominican people just sit down letting things happen to them. <laughs> this is why <laughs> we can be considered one of the poorest. Because we were not like this before. How can we be elevating in modern times and going backwards? That making sense to you? And then people in the country would tell you, guys, things are bad in Dominica, you know. As a result of the whole world going in chaos. But me, I am building my most likely third mansion that is bigger than the other two. Basically, but things are hot coming. All right. Yes, hi, brothers and sisters. Anyways, let's get back to um Scarry's friend. So apparently Scarry's friend seems to be involved in a number of things, just like, you know, Monfred was involved in a number of things, all of them. It seems like the people at Scarry's best friends, they always end up in jail, which is, is interesting. How we do end up jail yet? <laughs> well, Scarry probably is a smart man. <laughs> and this, the, the funny thing is I saw him Talking about Dominica becoming the first in the world to designate blockchain as the national infrastructure. First of all, I want to ask, did the Dominican people discuss this or this, this is just something that's carried put on the Dominican people? To me, in a democracy, you're not supposed to discuss these things now. We, this just happened to us, we? So you think it does happen to us, that it means that it's for us or it's for them? For them to do whatever they're doing behind closed doors, huh? Don't you think that, that, that that's interesting? No? <laughs> Okay, all right then. But apparently this, um, apparently is the first country, Dominica. Just like I remember MMCE. MMCE, that you think that their business has been doing, you know, things all over the world and Dominica is looking for the best. No, brothers and sisters, is in Dominica. They get their prestige. Scary them, link up with them boys. Anthony, whoever Mr. is, they link up with them boys. And apparently, MMC is the only, Dominica, Dominica is the only country that they have done business with. I don't know if they ex have expanded uh, as a result of them elevating with all the monies and building all kind of buildings in Dubai and so forth and so forth. I don't know if as a result of that, they are able to go and then say, hey, this is our track record, Dominica. And then we continue. But they started with Dominica. They started with Dominica. <laughs> and you would think that these people have been there for a while. No, that is not the case. Just like this guy is now saying Dominica is the first country in the world to designate blockchain as a national infrastructure. They're putting things on the people and the people don't even know about it. They had discussions with you. That is if they had discussions with their, their, their power reps so that their power reps can come, come and tell their constituency what is going on. That has never happened. Did, maybe, maybe it's me that don't know. <laughs> maybe it's me that out of loop. Did that happen to you guys? 
Okay, you might be wondering, what I don't know if I'm talking about. Well, brothers and sisters, Tron founder, Tron founder, Justin Soon, Justin Sun or Soon, whatever, or they say it in Chinese, sued by U.S. Um, Secretary of what, what something by U.S. Sec. I think it's um. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Security, U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Yes, so he was sued by the U.S. Um, 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 securities and Exchange Commission, brothers and sisters, on securities, market manipulation charges. And of course, this is what they're saying right there. The regulatory alleged that TRX and BTT are unregistered securities that apparently Sean is, um, Sean is using. Anyways, and claimed Sun created an extensive wash trading. I just mentioned that a while ago. I, guys, by the way, first time I read that, you know, <laughs> first, first time. But I just know it deals with what is taking place right there. Extensive wash trading. You know why it's wash trading? Wash, you know why it's wash money? You know why wash money? You get drug money and then you put it in buildings and this kind of things there. So it looks legitimate. You're washing the money. Well, <laughs> extensive wash trading apparently. Program to boost the trading volume. Interesting stuff. And of course, this is the guy that Scarit is dealing with. Why does Scarit, most of Scarit's friend end up in some sort of hot water i can think of ali reza mon for it there's a lady in america i can think of i seen her face i can't remember her name i think it's amanda that's her name i can't remember there's i'm um, ali reza um, um there's alison maduki there's a number of these guys that end up in jail dealing with scary and you think who you think they're doing that for this is why i think that question is vital you know when he asked that question what has dominica gained as a result of these meetings what has Dominica gained? Hmm? What has Dominica gained from them? You know? Because I don't know. Help me out. Leave that in the comment box below right there. But apparently this guy is in hot water right there. And as for Skerritt, is one of the individuals who is heavily involved and bring Dominica in that situation. Well, apparently it seems like something is something very fishy is going on right there. Brothers and sisters, Sec charges crypto entrepreneur Justin Son and his company for fraud and other security law violation. Eight celebrities also charged for illegal. Okay, that's something else. Wait a while. Tooting of Son's boy. So eight celebrities also charged for illegal tooting of Son's crypto asset security. You know, guys. You know what? Um, um what do you call that again? Um, when you do in due process, due process. So apparently we're not doing due process on the people that we we want to just jump on board with this is why i'm asking the question are we doing are the officials on the top doing things for dominico are they doing things for themselves because the question here is what has dominica gained as a result of all these things that dominica has to pay for the government officials to go all kind of place to do what has dominica gained what 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 i'm trying to think i'm thinking of the cbi program CBI program has generated some funds that is coming in back into um has come back into Dominica, but that is based on selling passports. What has this this what has these things? This is one of the reasons why they had to try their best to try to exchange all the passports because of the the, 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 the fake passports they were making apparently. This is why Alex San and Sanford asked the question. So, so, so we seen photos of Dominica passports being sold in Pakistan. What is happening? And these people pretending as if people didn't see those photos and videos going around. People saying they travel to England on the passports. This is why they have to change the passports. This is why. But man is smart. Man will constantly adapt. Man will always constantly adapt. That's man can, you know. Anyways, let me read this stuff for you guys. Let me make this thing bigger so you can understand what is going on. So apparently Dominica is involved in yet another thing. You think that this thing is over no they don't apparently don't they doesn't learn the u.s securities and exchange commission sued justin son wednesday on allegations i think that was last week of selling and airdropping unregistered securities fraud and market manipulation it's interesting that they mention in this though because i'm thinking of um that girl um pelosi pelosi it seems like pelosi was putting her money in things and then she knows exactly when to pull it out before the, 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 the market crash for these things. And then you ask yourself, is this man, market um, manipulation? Is this, or oh, somebody gives her her drop or uh, drop on when things go into drop, so she needs to pull out her money and this kind of things. I remember something similar 
to to the Bitcoin stuff when it was anyways there's a whole other story right there some of you have no clue what I'm talking about <laughs> in that regard anyways the SEC uh, Securities and Exchange Commission said in a press release it was Swinson the Tron Foundation um, the BitTorrent Foundation and BitTorrent uh, now known as Rainberry over the sale of Tronix TRX and Bit Tr um, BitTorrent huh that's interesting BitTorrent token token some of all you know all you should download them. Pirate stuff, <laughs> pirate games, and all those kind of things from Torrent. Anyways, which um, the regulator describes as unregistered crypto asset security. Unregistered crypto. Okay, I guess you have to register it. Uh, the regulatory um, further alleged the defendant's fraudulent manipulated TRX secondaries market through an extensive wash. I just said that right there. Son was named Grenada's ambassador. That's a heck of a thing. Grenada, are you? <laughs> You know that I see a girl, eh, eh. The, cause we have to watch out cause we can't just do, we can just probably scare go and talk to him and say that's look like a nice thing let's drop on button and bring the young man in to do some craziness hey cause we we, we, we doesn't roll like that eh. we, we doesn't roll like that <laughs> you have to uh, come on cause anyways let's go down there Sony was named Grenada's ambassador to the World Trade Organization W2 last year. Tried to artificial what? artificially inflate the TRX trading volume through the wash trading scheme. I guess it's a bit different from washing money, but it's pretty much the same principle right there. The SEC uh, alleged by having this own uh, his own employees engage in more than six hundred thousand wash trades of TRX between two. So apparently, all this is happening and. Uh, Oh my God in heaven! But how how we just end up in the how we just end up in these things, you know? Oh well, we know how <laughs> we know. How. This is not the first rodeo that Dominic has had when it comes down to these kind of things. This one is just Bitcoin. This one is just cryptocurrency. That is something else, boy. Between two crypto asset trading platforms, account platform accounts, he controlled. According to the court um, filing, Sunstron Foundation employees conducted the trades. The BitTorrent and Tron Foundation control the accounts and Rainberry employees transferred funds for the trading. So it seems like a, a cycle that was taking place right there to inflate, over inflate, to make it old. Oh, hey, a lot of people are buying this and so, but hey, hey, that's okay. More people buys, more it goes up in value and so forth. And you know, guys, demand and supply. You should know about them kind of something there. Anyways, an individual is giving his take on this. So let us take a listen to what he has to say. And why haven't they just filed the charges yet? What is Gary planning on? We don't know. We don't know. So I guess we will have to wait I and see. see. Now, the SEC is not done. They're not just attacking Coinbase, right? But they also charge Tron. Hmm. Now, I will say that. I think they're targeting Coinbase as a result of this guy, son. Because that's where he used to do trades from my understanding right there. It's interesting. This. As badly as I see Gary and the SEC basically attacking crypto, you know what? I think they are probably dead on with this. Hmm. And I've told you guys this. I don't. So apparently he's for crypto. The guy speaking, he's for crypto. But he's just saying based on what he, he understood from what is going on with this guy, Justin Sun. That is apparently Scary's best friend. Well, one of Scary's best friend, as you can see right there. Um, he's saying that they are dead on, they are spot on for this. Trust anything that Justin's son. Uh, I don't trust anything from Justin's son. I don't trust any of his moves, any acquisitions, any of the metrics that show that Tron is in a really good position. I think it's all fake. Hmm. But Dominica, what is Dominica? Maybe, maybe you don't see that, guys. We don't see it. Maybe you don't see it. Dominica is the first country in the world to designate blockchain as the national infrastructure. And that is what? Tron. Yet. Yet. Yes, hi. Let me go back and listen to what Mr. said. And I've told you guys this. I don't trust anything that Justin's son. But tr scary trust. Uh, I don't trust anything. And put the country. And then when Lennox was going up to talk about his government scary them come and say that lennox was talking bad against dominica not against his leadership you know but against dominica the very man who's saying leadership is everything it's interesting when you look at things and how things are happening and then people 
will just believe because it's there it comes from this is why i tell people do not trust the experts sometimes the experts are agenda driven all you want to do is go and trust experts and say what is it they are gender driven and they know some of all you'll just swallow whatever they're saying because they are the ones who are the experts look at the whole um injection thing look at look at it when belly flop they said it was 99 percent effective the injections it go down to three <laughs> percent boy i don't trust this son i don't trust any of his moves any acquisitions any of the metrics that show that Tron is in a really good position, I think... Because he was flipping it. He was, well, alleged to be flipping it, using his employees in different parts. You know, one, like you have the triangle, this one works there, this one works there, this one works there. So to make it constantly cycle, to make it look, oh, that's what we're reading. Hey, more people buying, man. More people buying, more people buying. When he was, is basically, they're trying to overinflate. It's all fake. And this is based on history. If you guys lived through 2017, 18, 19, 20, you would know how much shenanigans this guy has pulled. This is why I talk about due process. So apparently we joined Tron with this guy. Scared again. And it's not to say I want to say things, you know, brothers and sisters. Let us make it make sense now. So at least due, due process, the same way where people have Dominica diplomatic passports end up in jail. All kind of people trying to evade their dirty ways to the point where we bring the man Dominica. We, we bring the Ali Reza partner Don, Don, Dominica. We. I was trying to hide him in Dominica. But boy, 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 tell you, boy, tell you. Eh. I mean, how, how, how can people not see these things? This is, it's right in your face, we. I mean, <laughs> so no due process has done. We don't join in Tron in, in 20, 2022. That happened, you back, guys. 2022 2022 demand congratulations congrats this is 2022 elections scary them oh look we there all right where you again at least i don't see dixon dick um, dick dixon <laughs> hey that is something else we um and that's why i don't trust any of it so now even as he has a history he has a history since 2017 he has a history magwesa so all you don't do no research to find out if mister is truly legitimate then you're putting dominica in it with without, without who he discussed who's carry this cause that with guys help me understand i'm trying to have a conversation here yeah? It's not just me talking. Yeah, I, I know I blah jane in front of the square box and thing but who, who did he have this conversation with who did the, the research to find out if this guy is legitimate? No, this guy is wanted to answer these charges. I mean, we not we not see. Okay, right. DC is targeting them based on market manipulation, which I have no doubt actually happened, and many of the other charges against everything they else that they had done. So this also happened and you could see right here on defi llama hmm. in terms of total value locked on all the chains tron is at number three hmm. remember the constant cycle to over inflate what well, dominica is the number one for the inf infrastructure for tron <sighs> okay and I'll tell you right off the bat why this doesn't make any sense. Because look at the TVLs of all these major chains. And then look at all the major protocols. You got Ethereum, the big daddy, with 29 billion. You have 712 protocols to make up the 29 billion. Then you have Binance Smart Chain at 5 billion, right? Tied with Tron. But they have 562 protocols. Then you go to Arbitrum at basically 2 billion. You have 248 protocols. Polygon, you have 1 billion, 390 protocols. You notice that everything above top 10, basically, outside of Mixin, which I'm not familiar with, but even at Kronos, right, have 96 protocols. And Tron has a measly 17 for 500, <laughs> 5 billion. It doesn't make sense when all the other chains. The math's not math's in. The math's not math's in. <laughs> Boy. E.
So me set them those scene. <sighs> Have hundreds of protocols, aka DApps, when Tron has 17, 17 and somehow the 17 has 5 billion TBL. See, that's just a clear example. There, there's something wrong there. Something going on. I mean, obviously. So my, my thought process is this guy is not seeing, hey, maybe they can track these things to find out what is going on. When the others in how much hundreds of thousands we in 17 and we equate into the top 10, top 3. And furthermore, it's not even like, like Tron. They say Dominica is the first country, 2022, the first country, and it's in the top three. Tron in the top three. Something fishy not happening. <laughs> but, Something that doesn't add up, right? This is why I've always said stay right. away from Tron, stay away from BitTorrent, which got renamed, stay away from Hoibi because he's going to collapse that just like he did with Polonex. Everything that Justin's... They probably hedging BitTor BitTorrent. That's probably what they're doing. They hedge in BitTorrent. So when they hedge BitTorrent, it falls. They know they're going to make a, 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 a lot of money on it. But they're not making... Tron is a new one. They're not hedging it. And if... <laughs> Boy, I tell you, I tell you. Eh? Yeah. Well. Sun is going to go down. So, SEC, I think... And, uh, guys, and a lot... I know a lot of people. You, Some of all, you have no clue what I see here. Oh, yeah. So probably I have no clue what I see, you know. For this case, they have a right. But, and they're suing some guys like Jake Paul, which has promoted Tron. I, I wasn't even aware of that. I didn't even hear about that. Um, but I think they got this case right. But going, going and trying to attack Coinbase, if you're going to do it, do it. Okay, don't keep warning and giving pre warnings and more warnings when we don't even know what they are. Coinbase, Coinbase, it's interesting that they, they went after Coinbase and not Binance. I don't think they were using Binance, I don't think they were using Binance, so most likely. But then again, Coinbase, they were in Coinbase, but most likely anything that comes through Coinbase, because I actually have Coinbase guys, anything that comes through Coinbase, it, it, there's, there's um, taxes that have to be paid from it. So no matter what you make, they're taking their taxes before you get anything. <laughs> so that is something else. Binance is a bit better when it comes down to trading with, with cryptocurrency. And there's another one, WeBull. Not, not the anti man thing, eh? WeBull is another one, but that one is United States as well. So there's a number of things you can actually use to do, do proper trading. Man. WeBull, WeBull is like Binance. You don't pay the amount of fee, um, fees you make in Coinbase, but Coinbase is much more legitimate, so, so to speak. But if they're warning... If his securities and 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 it is it is it, the sec sec is warning coinbase then that means coinbase there, there might be some interesting things going on in coinbase there might be some interesting but anyways there's a whole other story right here and we don't know what the repercussions are uh coinbase certainly doesn't know what to do if you're just getting warned yeah anyways guys there's another thing i must point out this is it right there so in december of 2021 two million dollars hits a trump media account no guys for this one i i have my own reservations on this i don't think this is gonna be a a, a, a deal breaker or anything like that that isn't crazy but th there's an important thing that i want to raise on this when it comes on to 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 a banking thing and that two million dollars came from a bank called paxim bank in, in where? the caribbean island of dominica dominica guys all you know where paxim is it all you know where paxim bank is all, all, you, all you, know, you 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 got you 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 put your money there you know <laughs> well apparently some people will say maybe it's dominica republic well <laughs> i got bad news <laughs> it is actually the commonwealth of dominica brothers and sisters i went on the website paxim bank 2016 to 2023 blah 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 arrest reserve authorities regular financial unit commonwealth of dominican it's not dominica republic okay they might say i'm not true man okay let's see paxom bank dominica liability blah blah, blah 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 commonwealth of dominica where is the paxom bank that apparently eight million dollars was transferred as a result of whatever monies that went to trump or bypassing whatever where, 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 where is that bank in dominica all you know 
if all you know leave leave your thoughts in the comment box below guys this is pretty much all you ask for this year reaction video i have my own reservations on 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 whether that is legal or illegal i actually heard the previous um thing on this but anyway guys what are your thoughts leave your thoughts in the comment box below give this video a thumbs up subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you can get more videos as they tend to come around see you guys in the next reaction video boom bang